This first alert is for the rain. We're already starting to see some rain moving across the area. So I want to give you guys a look at where we're currently seeing rain right now. Looks like, well, my graphic just kind of skipped around there, but we could still see some rain out there near Horizon City, Sparks, Socorro, Belen, Loma Terrace. This is overall some light rain as of right now, but we are expecting to have some more widespread rain move in across the area. So here's our latest future track model saying just in a few short hours, seven o'clock, showing widespread rain across El Paso County, the southern portions of Doniana County, off into Luna County, even Otero County getting in on the rain. That's going to continue overnight, 10 o'clock, still seeing some widespread rain across the area. I do want to show this. Most people might be sleeping around 12 tonight, but you can see widespread rain, especially across Hudspeth and Culberson County, even El Paso County getting in on the rain. Now this is the latest future track model. So you can see it has updated by five o'clock tomorrow morning, seeing a swath of rain. Now it is more positioned over El Paso and Las Cruces. So I do think most of us will be seeing some rain overnight. We are seeing the yellows with these storms as well. So there will be pockets of some moderate maybe even some heavy rain at times, but overall, most of it will be some light rain. By eight o'clock tomorrow morning, seeing still that swath of rain leading into El Paso County, over into Mexico, even, even the southern portions of Doniana County. But as I mentioned before, I do think most of us will be fortunately dry by lunchtime tomorrow, just maybe a few sprinkles out there. Most of the rain will be off to our Northeast. And then we'll be dry for your Saturday evening into your Sunday. Here's one model run showing how much rain we could see in the area. So this model is predicting about two tenths of an inch overnight here in El Paso, about one tenth of an inch in Columbus and a little bit less for Las Cruces. But once again, I wouldn't be surprised if Las Cruces could get up to about two tenths of an inch as well. Right now, a little bit chilly out there. It is 51 in El Paso, 50 in Las Cruces, 46 in El Nogordo. Our overnight lows Yes, they are going to be warmer than they were yesterday. That's because the overcast skies are giving us kind of like a warming effect out there. Here's what you can expect. 41 in El Paso and 40 in Las Cruces. Wait till the end of the show for my 70 forecast.